One thing that people who want to be successful often wonder about is how to maximize their time. The one thing in this life that we can't get back is our time. So making the most of the time we have is imperative to self-discipline, self-improvement, and ultimately living a better life. So firstly, you have to be accountable. You have to find somebody to be accountable to. When I come up with a video idea, oftentimes the first thing I do is tell Hannah about it because I know that she's gonna remind me about it, she's gonna help me stick to the plan. You know, as long as you're being open about yourself, it rarely has to be more than one person that you're staying accountable to. But when it comes to actual time management practices, I think one of the most important things is to maximize those moments that you have to yourself in the day. Those few moments that you have just for you, you need to maximize that time in particular. Have you ever heard the sentiment that a lot of people work a nine to five, they work five days a week at a job that they hate and then they go out on the weekends and they celebrate nothing, i.e. they're getting drunk, they're getting high, they're turning their face away from the reality of their life for the weekend. But the successful person's mindset is to use the weekend to chase the life that you want to have instead of escape the life that you wish you didn't have. So again, very important to maximize the, those moments you have to yourself in any given day. And look, it's a doggy dog fast paced world. Everybody has a lot going on a lot of goals to accomplish and a lot of things to deal with. So the key is to make the most of the time you have to yourself, to learn yourself, better yourself, and ultimately grow as a human being. And this is right here is why, in my opinion, the gym or fitness in some way, shape, or form is so highly important to your self-development and your self-betterment. The one thing that reigns true for a lot of multimillionaires, if you read about it, is that they employ some sort of fitness routine. They get up early, and they employ some sort of fitness routine. It's the mastery of yourself that's going to allow you to master the rest of your life. For me, it was the gym was a replacement for a lot of unhealthy habits and, uh, and poor decisions. So what happened for me was that as my savior Jesus knelt down to pull me out of this pit of foolishness and poor decisions that I was making, it ultimately manifested itself into this complete reinvention through fitness and through working out, this reinvention of character that was unlike anything I had ever seen in myself before. It was new associations, new relationships, it was eventually meeting the love of my life and marrying her and starting this YouTube channel. Complete reinvention of myself. But through that all, over the last five years of my life, the gym has been the most consistent aspect. And look, I'm by no means successful in the world's eyes. And, and, and in fact, for a lot of those years, I really felt like I wasn't fulfilling my purpose at all. But here's the thing, every day for an hour or so, I would put my headphones in, I would pick up the weights, and I would go to work, driven, thankful, and growing. Members of the Marine Corps will often attest to one portion of their training being that you have to make your bed every morning. And oftentimes they will, you'll hear that Marines, even after being in the Corps, will continue this practice of making their bed every single morning and just having that be the ticking clock of accomplishment in their life. And look, you don't have to work out in the morning necessarily, but whenever you do end up working out, it should be and will be one of the parts of your journey towards success that will never waver. In those moments alone, pushing yourself in the gym, your soul grows along with your body. My name is Mike McCord. I post videos every Friday. I'll see you guys next week.